Elon Musk has made a, well, many people are saying an insane and wild dishonest claim about robo taxis in the United States. Now, I'm not going to agree with that. I don't necessarily agree, but I, I'm not sure, guys, what to make of this. It's if, if Elon Musk is right and if Tesla cap pulls off what he says they're going to do, the stock price will double. There's almost, it's almost a certainty. It could even triple. This could be the investment opportunity, the best one you're going to make this year, if it's accurate. But there's a big, a big if. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. If you'd like to become a YouTube member, get access to some videos that are not on the main channel. I'll put a link in the description below and it helps support the channel as well. I appreciate your support. Tesla is hype. Well, Elon Musk and Tesla are hyping Tesla's full self-driving, even though the truth is Tesla have admitted it's not yet um, really capable of being hands-free, right? Full hands-free. I mean, my experience driving it, I thought it was capable of hands-free. But I think in situations like um, heavy rain, um, snow, nighttime conditions with heavy rain and heavy snow, that's the kind of situation where it ain't going to work, at least yet anyway. In June, Tesla introduced its long-awaited robo-taxi service to a geofenced area of Austin, Texas. It's now planning to expand this service to the San Francisco Bay Area, but has not yet received the required go-ahead from local authorities to do so. In the meantime, Tesla's well, CEO, Elon Musk, has made a pretty bold claim about the robo-taxi service and its potential for growth, which I'm just wondering if this was a, a miss. Um, a misstep, like if it was an accident or if it was intended to, to, to mean what he said. While speaking on Tesla's quarterly earnings call, Musk said that half of the population of the United States will be covered by Tesla's robo-taxi service by the end of this year. Half of the population of the US will be covered by Tesla's robo-taxi service by the end of this year. Is that actually possible? Well, seeing we've already fast approached the end of July, I mean, there's not many months left in the year, and the system is only operating in one section of Austin, Texas, this doesn't appear particularly likely or logical. But there is a way that this could happen. It's probably a long shot, but there is a way it could happen. Currently, all rubber taxis operating in Austin are believed to be, I have a feature, a hidden kill switch that can instantly disable the full self-driving system. All vehicles currently have a Tesla employee sitting in the passenger seat with their finger, um, basically resting on the door opening button, prompting suggestions that this button has been repurposed to act as a quick override mechanism. Tesla's robotaxis have already been, well, they've had a few issues with full self-driving. And to, to be fair though, so did Waymo, so did um, GM's Cruise, although we know what happened to GM's Cruise, don't we? So is it possible that they could scale all across the United States within the next five months? Well, no, and yes. I mean, truthfully, there's, there is a lot of Teslas with hardware 4 right now. And personally, having driven Teslas with hardware 4 in the United States on full self-driving, I personally think uh, it's incredibly good. In fact, I think it's better than a human driver. Or maybe not during sleet or hail or snow, but then how good are human drivers in those situations either? They're pretty shocking too. I've seen hundreds and hundreds of car crashes on these YouTube videos showing you just how treacherous those situations are for anyone. Realistically, there is a pathway for this happening. It's a long shot, and that is simply that Tesla enables full self-driving hands-free on cars with hardware 4. And that's possible. I mean, even if you haven't purchased full self-driving, Tesla could enable this and say to you, well, here's a trial, hands-free, see what it's like, See if you like um, going to sleep or you're willing to risk going to sleep while your car's driving. And if you want, then you can buy it. You can pay a subscription fee, whatever it is. That could happen. I mean, Tesla could potentially uh, turn that button on. I mean, they could do it right now if they really wanted to. Well, maybe. I mean, the NHTSA might have something to say about that. Donald Trump's probably gonna have something to say about that as well. So considering those challenges, the NHTSA and Donald Trump probably opposing this, I'd say it's unlikely to happen based on that. Now, Musk also made an interesting claim about Tesla's full self-driving. 
Speaking of the same earnings call, Musk predicted that by the end of 2025, Tesla customers will be able to update their vehicles so they can use full self-driving without supervision. So he's basically saying that's the answer, right? By the end of the year, Tesla's going to turn it on without supervision. In addition to eyeing an expansion into California, Musk named Florida, Nevada, and Arizona as other states where Tesla wants to introduce its robotaxi service. Now, Tesla was asked, or Musk was asked, well, does that mean it's ready now? Is Tesla's full self-driving without supervision ready now, hands-free? And Musk said, no, not yet, but it will be by the end of the year. But to be fair, he said that a lot of times, and I'm the kind of person I kind of see where he's coming from because I'm like this as well. I'm like, be be aggressive. You can do it. You can get there. Come on, come on, come on. So I kind of get that. But at the same time, it is getting to the point where it's like the boy who cried wolf. So it does feel like over-promising and under-delivering, which is probably good to kind of not do that at some point because people stop believing you. While Tesla can continue to test and improve its driver assistance systems, it can do little to speed up state regulatory approvals necessary for expanding the service across the United States. So unless you live near a massive urban center, you probably won't be able to get a Tesla taxi anytime soon. But if you own a Tesla, it is possible, theoretically, depending on which state you're in, that full self-driving unsupervised could be turned on. And honestly, let's be real, there's a lot of bad drivers on the roads. Drink, dr- drunk drivers, there's old elderly drivers, there's drivers that are driving under the influence of marijuana. There's probably millions of Americans driving every day under the influence of weed. Uh, there's drivers driving when they're extremely stressed or on phone calls or they're distracted by me. The only crashes I've had in my life was when someone was talking to me and making me think about something else. Then you just, what the hell? You're just not focusing. You're thinking what they're saying. They're asking you a challenging question. Uh, you can imagine the scenario for me, um, male brain, and then, you know, that's what happens. So I actually think that during daylight hours, it probably would be a safer alternative for self-driving based on my personal experience. But there's other scenarios where I don't know. I'm not sure. And that that's the challenge Tesla is facing. There's no LiDAR, you know, no proper radar sensors. Um, and that may be an issue in those real fringe cases. I'm not sure. Guys, let me know what you think about this. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Right now, in the United States, you can get the best Tesla Model 3 ever, the long range version that has 700 kilometers of WLTP range or 363 miles of EPA range for a staggering, staggering price. After the tax credit, it's 33,000 US dollars. And if you use a referral code, you'll get that extra discount. Plus, the person who has a referral code will get 1,000 US dollars paid to them by Tesla. Now, I've just done some research, and unfortunately, this doesn't apply to Australians. Here in Australia, there are some deals, $3,000 discount if you get a Novated lease, which is actually a really good idea financially. If you can do it, get the Novated lease because you're going to save an insane amount of money. Tesla have just launched a, a pretty crazy end of year discount scheme. It applies to every model. 